Following up with a Homewood family who says someone yelled hate speech at them while driving by their home. We told you about this last night. Yeah, the entire uh, event caught on a doorbell camera tonight. Our, the family tells our Brittany Dion that they're moving forward with making their home feel secure again. Brittany? Well, sorry, Steve Catherine. When we spoke to Jordan Elliott and her mom, Felita Wilson, last night, they th told us that their street is nearly pitch black at night. And with something like this happening right at their doorstep, they want the city of Homewood to step up and help them feel safe again. This is video of that verbal attack. Caught on the family's ring camera, you can clearly hear the person yelling a racist expression at the family. They tell us this was unprovoked. They also say because it's so dark on their street, they couldn't get a good look at the dented pickup truck the suspect was driving. Now the family is stepping up security at their home, getting cameras and more lighting. But Felita Wilson says that she wants the city to help out as well so dark because like once you hit this tree over here and back there it's pitch black. Mm -hmm. I don't even walk my dogs in the front anymore. I do it at nighttime in the back because I'm just scared to be out here. Maybe you know we could talk to like the city about something to see if they can put out another light or something. Now we reached out to several Homewood City Council members. Only one responded. Councilor Andy Waltney says that the city has a portal on its website where residents can go and submit requests like this one. They also have a specific button for street lights. That link is on the WBRC News app. Catherine.